Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is one of my favorite recipes, so let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking, and today what I'm going to show you is another way that I make my homemade beef stew. So the ingredients that I have in here is one purple onion diced, three stalks of celery diced, one pound of the stew meat, one and a half pounds of the duo potatoes, which is the red and yellow, and two pounds of the baby carrots. So I place that all in my crock pot along with eight cups of water, one tablespoon of kitchen bouquet, and an eighth of a cup of brown gravy mix. I have my crock pot on high, and I'll let this cook until the vegetables are nice and tender and the meat is fully cooked. So let's get started. For my beef stew, I have two pounds of baby carrots, one and a half pounds of the little potatoes, and they're the duo potatoes, which is the red and yellow potatoes. There's the red, there's the yellow, and I slice them in half. I have three celery stalks. And one purple onion. To this mixture, I'll add in four cups of water. I might need to add in a little bit more. I'll see how this goes. I'll add in another four cups. I do have my crock pot on high. So here's another four cups. That's perfect. So that's eight cups of water. I'll just mix this around. Now I'll put my lid on. And now I'll go cut up my beef. Now I'll remove my cover. Mix it around a bit. I have one pound of stew meat. I'll place that in. And I'll let this cook in my crock pot for about four hours or more on high. I'll keep testing it to make sure that the meat is fully cooked and that all the vegetables are nice and tender. So my crock pot's on high. I'll put my lid back on and just wait. I'll take a look at my beef stew. Give it a little mix. For these potatoes, I happen to see them in the grocery store. They're the red and white. They're the duo potatoes. And this is the package that they came in. I thought, that'll really taste good in the beef stew. I'll put the lid back on. So now what I'm going to do is put in a tablespoon of this kitchen bouquet, and it's a browning and seasoning sauce. So I'll put in one tablespoon. Mix that in. You can see it already turning brown. To my beef stew, I'll add in an eighth of a cup of brown gravy mix. So I have the eighth of a cup. That'll help give it more flavor. And it also helps thicken it up a little bit.
And if I want to thicken it more, I'll just add in some flour. I'll mix some flour and butter on the stove, mix it all together, and then put it in my stew, mix it around, and that'll help thicken it more. So for that, I usually put in two tablespoons of butter to four tablespoons of flour. So now I'll put my lid on, let this cook for a while, and see how it thickens up. So now I'll take my lid off, stir it around. Ooh, it's looking good, it smells good. I'll add in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, mix that in, to this I'll be adding in two tablespoons of fresh oregano, I just picked it from my garden, chopped. So now I'll mix that in. Put my lid back on. Now I'll check on my beef stew. I'll mix it around. I did add in a can of peas, which is like a 15 and a half ounce can. Oh, that's perfect. See the peas? This looks so good. So now I'll put my lid back on. I'll be taking this over to a neighbor's house and this is the dinner that I made for them. So on goes the lid and out the door I'll go. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watch me make my homemade beef stew. Enjoy. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.